Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jenna Cuoma and I do beauty, hair, vlogs. I kind of dabble in a lot, but today we are doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. This is the look that I ended up doing. Um, it was a struggle. <laughs> you're gonna see, it was a struggle but i hope you guys enjoy and i love you all right you guys so let's get right into the video um i just washed my face i'm about to tone it i'm gonna be using my pearlescence soothe rose water facial toner Ooh. Mm. And before I forget, let me just moisturize my lips. I recently just came back from, hold on, I'm trying to let this dry. I recently just came back from Florida. It was like kind of a birthday trip, kind of like a chill, like, like a chill vibe thing. I just didn't want to be at home. And I'm using my Dermalogica oil-free matte moisturizer yeah I didn't want to be at home because I'm turning 20 like 20 it's dub club time dub club time so I wanted to do something that I've never because I haven't been outside the country since I was probably like one years old not outside the country <laughs> I haven't been on a plane since I was probably like one. Yeah, so I kind of went on, it's like a little vacation too, if you wanna be technical, cause it was just me and my boyfriend. But we was just chilling. This moisturizer just, oh my God. This moisturizer has SPF 30 in it. And I don't know if y'all could tell, I don't know if y'all could tell, but I have a tan. I'm golden. Can y'all tell? Cause I could tell. I got my little tan over there. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I don't know if I should do it on camera or off camera. I'll do it on camera. I was really excited about the tan until I came home and realized I didn't have any makeup for my tan. And a birthday gift that my friends gave me was this gift card for Ulta. So I was just like, yo, let me go to Ulta buy a new foundation buy some other things i'm using my nyx professional makeup micro brow pencil in brunette when i came back i literally just been in the house i've been feeling so useless and like so like i've been sleeping late waking up late it's a horrible cycle to get into yo i've been trying to like get my youtube shit on deck like I want to give you guys more content, more videos, more consistency. Because I actually like doing YouTube. I really do like doing YouTube. It's fun to me. I've been trying to get more consistent, but I've been having a hard time trying to stay motivated. Like trying to stay like in that zone of like trying to record 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 edit 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 and get it out there you know what i'm not gonna do my brows on camera because this is already taking forever so i'll be right back all right i know it's a little light but don't worry it's fine i love youtube i love doing youtube and what do i want to do right now okay so I'm gonna go in with my poor professional primer. I like YouTube. And it's not like YouTube's fault, but I do get like, kind of like, what is the word? <laughs> I try to find motivation in doing YouTube. And sometimes I have no motivation to like, do it but that's not youtube's fault 
that's just me and like other things that are going on in my life i'll put you on later you try to find that happy medium of like recording editing and stuff like i'm free right now like i don't have anything really going on for me to be did i mess up my brow of course i did of course i messed up my brow okay that's fine that's fine i don't care but yeah so i try to find motivation in things try to to watch like motivational people or youtube videos or follow motiv motivational accounts on like social media and stuff there's this one account that my friend actually just created it's called trinfluential and she basically just like posts a lot of motivational things it really does help me want to continue recording editing and stuff like that i only started doing let me do my makeup like i keep talking and not doing my makeup i only started youtube like two three months ago like it hasn't been a long time for me to be feeling this way but like i said i'm gonna get into the reasons why i feel certain ways and why i'm losing motivation already but it hasn't been a long time i'm gonna be using my boxum boxum plump shots like a lip plumper that page trinfluential check it out really does help me want to start my day want to wake up on time like 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 i said i've been waking up late going to sleep late it's a it's a bad cycle like my channel i don't know if you've noticed but it's kind of like all over the place right now i'm trying to just like put things out there to see what i like because i like oh my god why am i dropping everything i like doing hair videos and i like doing makeup like i like doing vlogs I think those three things are just gonna stay consistent in on my channel for like a long time this is the um elf putty eye primer i don't know like what do you guys want to see from me like do you guys do you even like me <laughs> like i know you're watching but do you like me let me know because i just want to put out everything you guys want to see i have a video coming out or it should already be out of me like um like i said going to florida we went jet skiing it was so like freaking fun so fun but guess what i couldn't record it because they didn't have anywhere for us to put our phones or like camera equipment like i brought my camera to the beach i brought my camera to the beach and they didn't have anywhere for us to put it there's compartments there but they locked it and i really wanted to like put that footage on my channel for you guys because i want you guys to i want you guys to see my life i want you guys to see everything i do well not everything but like the fun things i do and i was so upset like when i tell you like i was so upset when i couldn't show you guys um this jet skiing because that shit was so fun like it was so fun so basically because i couldn't show you guys yo this putty is so bad <laughs> it doesn't look like it's doing anything but yeah so basically because of that experience because i experienced that i was like all right this is never happening again because i am going on another vacation or probably two more vacations this summer and i'm not missing out on footage so i decided to go out and buy a gopro because i was like yo if I'm taking this YouTube thing serious, mm -mm, I'm taking this off. Hold on. I'm just going to wait for that to dry because I used a wet, I used a wet napkin. So yeah, I went out and got a GoPro so that when I'm presented with an opportunity to like show you guys something fun, like in the water or like in the sky or something where I just can't have a handheld camera i was like yo i want my youtube quality to be a1 so let me just go in and get a gopro so it could be like i and i got the harness and everything for my head and my chest so that it could be right here and i could give you guys the quality that you deserve that's the type of person i am though definitely am like quality over everything type of person go to my first video go to my first youtube video like do you see that <laughs> do you see that first youtube video like it's 
it's my phone my phone is not bad but it just wasn't it wasn't what it was it wasn't giving it wasn't giving but now like from my first youtube video to now can you like see the difference i'm all about improving and doing better so anything like that i'm always gonna want to like oh and i'm using my elf 16 hour concealer in tan neutral anything like that i'm gonna want to like do better like i don't want to just stay cons constant i always want to get better quality like this camera i have right now is probably not going to be the only camera i purchase and if you're a new youtuber like me or if you're just a youtuber in general you always why is that doing that my eyes are just doing a weird thing but yeah, if you're a new youtuber or something like that you never want to stay constant you never want to stay unless you're comfortable with where you are like you got to that place where you want to be but me i'm not at the place i want to be so i'm not going to stay constant i'm always going to want to improve always going to want to get better stuff because the better stuff you get yo let me use a beauty blender because maybe it's the brush maybe it's the brush but yeah the better stuff you get the happier you're gonna feel with your content the more motivated you're gonna feel to record and edit and upload so definitely invest in yourself and the rest is history why is nothing working like i don't know what's happening right now. as i was saying before the reason why i personally felt not motivated even though i do want to do um youtube is because of my birth control <laughs> i am doing a separate video on that soon and by soon i probably mean like in a month or so i'm taking the um the nuva ring birth control i wanted to use it for six months which would be so like after this one is like done two more months that's what my six month mark would be but you yo yo i can't take it anymore <laughs> i cannot take it anymore like it's not it wasn't it, it like it's do it, i don't know like it's not healthy for me like it's not healthy for me personally like maybe someone else would find a better use for it but me like i'm gonna talk about this all in the video like i'm just giving you a general summary about it right now but me it's making me low-key depressed and so moody it's making me so moody like when i tell you my moods can change like this it's ridiculous sometimes i'll be crying for no reason and it's just like full-fledged tears like full-fledged like like ugly cry it's the ugliest cry and i'm just like yo there's no reason for this <laughs> like nothing happened i feel fine and i'll just be crying i'm gonna go in with my laura mercier setting powder in honey yeah i'll just be crying for no reason whatsoever birth control is not for me so but i'm gonna give you guys the full like rundown look out for that if you're interested basically why i brought that up is because i just wanted to talk about how depression is like a beast and i don't want to say i'm full-fledged depressed right now but i'm definitely like like you probably it doesn't even look like i'm upset like i'm not ups like it's weird i'm filming right now so i'm in a good mood like this is one of the good moods i'm in so i was like let me film like i needed to catch this moment like i'll be in my bed and i'll get these jolts of energy sometimes and if you miss it then you miss it but this time i caught it and i was like let me film because t <laughs> later it's not gonna be like this going into my james charles palette being in your room all the time is not healthy it's not it's not the bees knees like it's not i'm gonna go into no beans i'm gonna go in with boutique and benny oh my god boutique and benny you know what i'm gonna start manifesting a better mood 
Give me some topics to talk about. Life or death. What are you talking about? On a different note, I feel like social media is getting to me. When I say that, I mean like, I need to stop following like Instagram models. Like I need to stop following those accounts that just show me a body that I don't have. I don't hate my body, like I don't. But these accounts are trying, I feel like it's making, it's like trying to make me hate my body. That's a dangerous thing to play with because that's your sanity and you don't want to lose that <laughs> i'm thinking about like unfollowing a lot of like girls that just have like this much waist and like this much ass you'll see people like alexis sky or freaking summer walk well i love summer walker i'll probably never unfollow her but i just wish there was a way that i could like filter out those bodies from being shown on my feed because like it's making me think do i need a bbl if you know me from middle school my st Clair days bro i was a freaking twig like this was how skinny i was it's not because i didn't eat i didn't want to have like a two inch waist and a gigantic ass but i just want to have like some something filled like i just want something like some thighs some hips you know just a little something something like natural looking but like social media is really getting to me and it's making me think like should i just gain so much weight right now so that i could get a bbl <laughs> like that's really the vibe <laughs> that it's giving and i don't like that my boyfriend likes my body how it is like this is not because my boyfriend is making me feel away or whatever like no like that's not what this is it's literally just me seeing these images over and over and over again and feeling like is this beauty like is this what i need to look like to be considered beautiful like i know i'm beautiful but like why like i don't know like it's a weird thing it's a weird thing that society has implanted in young girls minds that's really like like really fucked us like honestly i feel like there's gonna come a day that the beauty standard is just gonna switch i just don't want to have a kid and the beauty standard is still like this because i will die if my kid feels like they're not beautiful because <laughs> see i'm just like so emotional like why am i trying to cry i'm gonna be using my Too faced born this way matte foundation in coco i got a tan <laughs> So, oh, did I tell you guys I got a job? Well, I had a job. So, I started working at this place at a vaccination center, basically. My job was, I was supposed to like, I was called a scribe. You're stationed with the nurse and basically you do like data entry for the nurse. Parch, tape shape, concealer, <laughs> in medium sand. Me, Cassidy and amanda started this job basically together paid the pay bro the pay was so amazing because people are not coming to get their vaccines or um the census for the day is low they just stopped calling me to come in so unreliable and i need a job before my birthday i haven't worked so I'm thinking about getting a nursing assistant job. Two nurses actually offered me jobs because they liked the way I was working. They offered me jobs at their hospital. But I am going back in person in the fall. Obviously, I'm gonna get the job. Like, obviously, I'm gonna like like ask for the job soon, but I just don't know when. It looks so much lighter, and it's really not. Like, I'm looking in the mirror. 
like what is happening once i get that job youtube is definitely gonna have to like pause i would say i'm just trying to figure out what when that's when the best time for that is i know it looks crazy but it's gonna come together i'm just gonna go everything with my cover fx foundation because it's looking crazy I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier. Yeah, everybody's literally unsubscribing, clicking out of the video. I'm not a makeup artist, so I'm giving casket ready. And I'm gonna go in with my beauty bakery. Oh, beauty bakery. Oh, this is beauty bakery. I didn't even realize. And I'm really not liking how light my under eyes are. So I'm gonna go in with the powder foundation. Like I said, I'm a fixer. I'm a fixer. I'm a fixer. I'm a Barbie girl. Anyways, so the nursing job. I have big plans for my future. What I wanna do after I graduate and stuff like that. I don't know if I want to share those. <laughs> I saw this one YouTuber talk about the topic of how to let go of toxic friends. I wanted to talk about it because she made a really good point, not letting certain energy control you anymore. They don't call me Beats by Jen for nothing. <laughs> now let me stop. But yeah, they told me, well, in the video, they basically was talking about friends that you let go of because they're not part of the life that you have now like friends she was basically saying like friends aren't in what is it? what was she saying she was like the purpose that they served was served and now it's time for you to like move on and i was thinking like that's a really good way to put how to like move on from friendships because even though like a lot of friendships let me do some liner hold on i gotta concentrate did my liner off camera they're not even don't judge me so yeah as i was saying friendships are a really sticky topic because a lot of people don't need to be in your life anymore and it's not even like a thing where it's like this person is not doing anything for you their personality and like just the way they carry themselves is not how you want to carry yourself like the saying a birds of a flocker blocker a bird of a feather flock together is not coming from nowhere like that saying is rooted in something like a lot of people that you surround yourself with is who you're gonna like portray let's say you have a friend and they're not doing anything for themselves like they don't want to apply themselves in anything like me i'm applying myself in youtube right now because i'm not working i'm applying myself in youtube this really just applies to someone in your life that like you know that they're doing nothing for you like and it's not even like they have to be doing something like literally doing something for you i'm just talking about like they're not adding any substance to your life like when i hang out with my friends or when i hang out with someone that i love or is like a part of my life the conversations we have do something for me that's it like or like something i learned from them does something for me like you gotta like friendship should be an exchange of information of ideas of conversation like if this person is literally just doing nothing for you like bye i've lost a couple friends due to like certain situations 
and I don't miss them because like it was their time it was their time to go Ooh, I'm gonna blush when you think about it like don't think of losing a friend as such a bad thing because sometimes it's needed I'm going into my elf blush palette these two on the bottom I love blush what was I saying? I've lost friends. Yeah, it sucks at first. Cause you like you know Snapchat loves showing you memories of like four, two, three years ago when you see it and you're like, oh wow, that friendship was cute. But it's like it was for that time in your life and now you are in a different time. You're a different person. You evolved. Like that person wouldn't even fit in your life anymore. I love blush this makeup artist that i went to you guys seen her on my page oh not my page you guys seen her on my channel already lee beads she put blush on me and i loved it so i went out and got a blush palette i look at every relationship whether it's a friendship or ex as a learning experience nothing is done in vain nothing that you're doing is for no reason like anything else someone else does to you even even if you're looking at it as like why would this person ever do that to me or i thought we was besties or like anything don't dwell on it like that because listen if they didn't do that you wouldn't be how you are right now you wouldn't be who you are right now and everything happens for a reason and i know that's cliche but it's true i'm actually going in with my duo lash glue and these lashes i don't know where they're from so i can't tell you it's a giving i just love the blush like i'm gonna put more blush i just went in with my nyx jumbo eye pencil in milk and put it under my eyes I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild lipstick in Never Nude. I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Supply Store lip gloss. I'm just gonna take my hair clips out. We are open for business. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and me talking through it if you like videos like this make sure to like the video so that i know so i could like give you guys more of it let's give myself a little because i feel like i did a nice job period thank you guys for watching <laughs> make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one